How are you looking for side dish ideas? Well, how about an applesauce? An applesauce that's easy to make with a little bit of a kick. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and we're gonna dive into a unique homemade applesauce recipe, a brandy applesauce. Buckle up, let's go. All right, so let's start off this homemade applesauce recipe with brandy. We're gonna use three pounds or five to seven medium-sized apples. I'm using gala apples. You'll wanna core them, peel them, and dice them, put them in a saute pan over medium heat. Next, we'll add light brown sugar, one-fourth of a tightly packed cup, or about 55 grams. To help the natural sweetness of the apples to just pop out, a little bit of salt, one-fourth of a teaspoon, or 2.5 grams. And for a little bit of spice, a pinch of ground clove, or one-eighth of a teaspoon. For a little bit of a flavor kick, one tablespoon, or 15 milliliters of brandy. Next, add one tablespoon, or 15 milliliters of lemon juice. This will accentuate those homemade, from scratch, applesauce flavors. And now for the final ingredient, half of a cup, or 125 milliliters of water. Put the saucepan over medium heat, bring the mixture to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, cover it with a lid and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes or until the apples start to become nice and soft and tender. If you're looking for side dish ideas, well, applesauce, especially a homemade applesauce recipe, is a perfect idea. Applesauce is so easy to make. You can make it ahead of time. You can make it on the spot. You can eat it hot. You can eat it cold. You can have it sweetened. You can have it unsweetened. It's just a perfect Thanksgiving side dish. It's also a great side dish for any sort of holiday meal. Make sure to periodically check that applesauce. Make sure it has enough cooking liquid or it's not boiling too hard. But after 15 to 20 minutes, once the apples are nice and soft, you can take it off heat. And then you can make the applesauce as chunky or as smooth as you like. For this applesauce recipe with brandy, I'm going to make it as smooth as possible. I like to use the immersion blender. You can use a blender. You can use a food processor, a hand mill. You can use a potato smasher. You can even leave it nice and chunky, but you can make it as chunky or smooth as you like. Well, thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Hope that you like this applesauce recipe with brandy. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and to remember as always to live, love, and make gravy.